Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a pre-search node on a Windows 10 PC. So let's take a look. To set up a node, there's a few things that we're gonna need. So let's take a look at the minimum requirements. So we're doing a Windows setup. So you're gonna need a Windows 10 or Windows 11, 64-bit version of Windows Home, Professional, Enterprise, or education and they need to be fully updated. Your computer should be a 64-bit processor with a second level address translation, four gigs of RAM, and virtualization needs to be enabled in the BIOS. Before we begin, I'm gonna make two assumptions. The first one is that you already created a pre-search account. Now, if you haven't done that, you just need to go to presearch.com, click on the link and create an account. I'll make sure I link that down below. The second assumption is that you've already picked up some pre tokens. Now, if you haven't done that already, I'll make sure I also link a guide to walk you through those steps individually. Now, there's four steps that we're gonna be doing to install this node. The first one is to install Docker. Once we have Docker installed, we're gonna run one command line. In this command line, you have to make sure that you put in your registration code and I'll show you how to do that. After that's been executed, we're gonna confirm that the node is online. And then lastly, we're gonna go ahead and stake some pre that our node is online and it'll start earning for us. If you find this guide useful, you can do me a favor by smashing that like button. What it does is it helps you reach as many users as possible, and I greatly appreciate that. So let's go ahead and set up our pre-search node. So here we are at the Windows 10 desktop, and the first thing that we wanna make sure is that virtualization is already enabled. So what we wanna do is right click on the taskbar and go to Task Manager. When you click on Task Manager, we're gonna click on the Performance tab, and right over here under Virtualization, it says Enabled. Now, if you don't have virtualization enabled, you need to do this at the BIOS level. So when you reboot your computer, you have to hit something like F1 or F10 or whatever your computer system requires. And then you go into the BIOS and then you want to enable virtualization like I'm showing you here and on a Dell PC as an example. Now, once you have that enabled, you reboot your computer and you can go back into your task manager and you should now see that the virtualization option is enabled. So let's close out of this window. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and install Docker. And we're gonna open up our browser. I'm gonna be putting this URL in the description below. This is to download the Docker for Windows 10. It'll also work with Windows 11. So we scroll down a bit here and you can see that we have the option to download Docker. Click on that and it'll download here. It's about 500 megs. So I'll go ahead and I'll open that up. We get a user control prompt. We can just click on yes. And now it's gonna download the package and begin the installation phase. This will take a few minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add a desktop shortcut just to make it easier. So use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V and then click on okay. Okay, the installation is now complete. We can just click on close. And you can see over here on our desktop, we have the Docker icon. We'll just double click on the icon to open up the window. And what we need to do is accept the service agreement in order for us to proceed. So we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom, check the box and then select accept. And now Docker is starting up and we get an option over here to go through the tutorial. Uh, you don't have to go through this. You can actually just select this option over here to skip the tutorial. At the main screen over here, you can see that in the left-hand corner, we have a engine running and it's green and I can just minimize this window and we're good to go. Okay, so we just have a Docker installed and now what we want to do is run a command to set up our node. And that command can be found on the official pre-search documents. So you have one for Linux and Mac, and we have one for the Windows command line. And this is it right over here. We're also going to open up a notepad because we have to enter in our registration code. And you can see that right here is where you want to enter in your code. So we're going to highlight and copy this. And I'll just open up my notepad. Okay, and here's a notepad. I'm going to paste it in here. This is the spot where it says registration code. So you can leave the equal sign and just highlight this section right here and we're going to delete it and I'm going to get my registration code and I can find that in my dashboard. I'm going to go over to the pre-search node website and it's nodes.presearch.com. I'll make sure I link that below as well. On the right hand side, you just want to go to your dashboard and inside the dashboard, you have your node registration code and this is the one that you need. So if you click on this button over here, you'll be able to see it uh, or you can just click on the copy button and then you can go ahead and enter it in the text file, which is right where this blinker is and right after the equal. So I'm going to paste it in and now it's pasted in there. So now I can run this line. Control A to highlight it all and then Control C to copy it. So I'm going to go over here, type in CMD for a command prompt and I'm gonna paste in my line by right-clicking in the window, and there it is, and I'm gonna hit enter. Looks like something's happening here. Okay, so I have a big P here. That looks good. 
And it says that it saved the public key and the private key, and it's now listening for searches. So this is a good positive thing. So it's listening for searches. I can open up my dashboard. Here is the dashboard. I'm going to scroll down a bit. And I have my existing three nodes up and running. And what I want to do is refresh the page and see if I get the fourth one up here. And there we go. So my fourth one is up and running. It just popped up in my list. If I scroll over to the right hand side, I can now stake some tokens. So I can click on this stake button and the minimum amount of staking is 2000 pre. So I'm going to just type in 2000 here. Okay. So I have 2000 pre staked. I'm going to scroll down a bit here and you can give it any name that you'd like. I'm just going to call this pre search windows node. And I'll just give it a number as well. This is optional. I'm not going to be putting in an external URL. So I'm going to check these two options. So I'll receive an email if it gets disconnected and reconnected. This is important to know if my nodes are down. I like to be notified about that. And it's going to consider it being disconnected if it's been offline for five minutes. You can change this number, but five minutes sounds reasonable to me. So I'll leave that. And now I'm going to click on update. So everything's been updated. I'm going to go back to my node list. Now, if I scroll down into my node list, You'll see my fourth node listed in here, pre-search windows node 001. It's my first one that I'm doing on windows. And you can see that my pre has been staked. So this is brand new. So there's no statistics here for earned or reliability score. We'll see how this do, does over time. So that's how you do it. That's how you set up a pre-search node on a windows 10 PC. You just need Docker installed, which is a pretty simple installation. And then you're up and running after running that one command line. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put it in the comments below. I'll also put a link to my blog in case you get lost with any of the steps. It might be a little bit easier to follow. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Please smash that like button. If you found this useful, if you want to see more tutorials like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.